Hey guys, Jenny from Tide Eye. Uh, I'm here to show you how to thaw your frozen rodents for your snake feeding. Uh, so let's get started. So first things first, you're gonna need a couple things. Uh, you're gonna need a tub or a bowl, something to fill with uh, warm to hot water. Uh, you're also going to need, and this is optional, a bag, like a little plastic Ziploc, something that closes, and a towel. So let's get started. First things first, what you want to do is you want to take your bowl or, you know, as I have here, a tub, fill it about halfway with hot water straight from the tap. Never use boiling water, like, you know, put the rodent in a pot and boil it, that'll just cook it. Uh, never use water from a kettle, it's boiled water, it'll just cook it. Never put your rodent in a microwave, it's just going to cook it, uh, it's not going to thaw correctly. Um, so the best way is to have patience, especially when it's a larger rodent, such as like a rat or a jumbo mouse. Just have patience and it will thaw out with time. Uh, obviously the smaller it is, it will thaw out a little bit faster, so if it's a pinky mouse, you put it in some warm to hot water, it's going to take maybe five minutes max. Whereas like a jumbo mouse could take upwards of like 10 minutes to uh, 15 minutes to, to completely thaw out. So, so there's two different ways you can thaw out your rodent. Right here I have a weaned rat. So first things first, what you want to do, obviously you've got your bin that's full of hot water straight from the tap. And you can either take your rodent and put it directly in to the water just like that. It's gonna get soaked. It's gonna be wet whenever it thaws out. The next thing you wanna do is put your rat into the hot water and then just let it sit there. Just keep an eye on it every once in a while. Just check it. Uh, what I like to do is I take the rodent, especially when it's a larger one, I'll actually take my fingers and I'll just, you know, very gently make it more movable, make sure it's more malleable. And also while I'm doing that, I'm feeling for cold spots. Whenever you're thawing a rodent, there's always going to be that internal ice cube it takes because, you know, it, it heats up from the outside to the end. So the outside is going to be a lot warmer than the inside. It'll take a second. But that's why you go in you just kind of like gently massage it, you know, put it back in the water if you still feel cold spots. If the water's starting to cool off, just replace the water. Dump it out, put uh, new hot water back in, uh, and then just keep on thawing until whenever you'll know it's done, whenever you go to squish it around and there's no cold spots, like it won't feel chilly at all. Uh, so then that's when you know it's finished. Now, the reason why I said the bag is if you put it in the bag, it'll be completely dry and ready to go. Me, I'm a little bit, you know, less wasteful, so I put it straight in the water. But the majority of snakes do not like wet rats or wet, wet, uh, wet food. Uh, so that's what we have the rag here for. Once you get your, uh, your rodent out from the water, you want to go ahead and wrap it up in a towel and just you really want to make sure it's nice and dried off. So as dried off as you can, and then after that, it should be ready to go. So that's how you thaw a rodent.